Hi everyone, Red Mist back, and this time we're going to have a look at the Iron Council. I've slowed down the beginning so that we can have a little bit of a talk through um, what's happening. So the pull is a little tricky. We've got uh, a Druid tank on Steelbreaker, um, which is the big guy. The second tank in 10 man, and uh, this is the 10 man version obviously, is on the Rune Master and on Stormcaller, which is the little guy. So the Rune Master is the middle sized guy. So I've got a pretty boring job in this uh, particular encounter. I'm on interrupt duty, which is uh, on the storm caller, so I'm there to interrupt things as, uh, as much as I can, or as much as I feel necessary, um, depending on the health of the raid. So when my earth shock's off of cooldown, I will be interrupting chain lightning as we go through this particular fight. So, lots of abilities going on here. This is a challenging fight, um, very difficult on 25 man if you are not used to coordinating a raid where you have to split the raid across multiple um, groups of mobs. So, the Storm um, Caller does this chain lightning at the beginning. Now he gains abilities as you go through this fight. Now, we're going to Bloodlust early uh, because we want to burn down Steelbreaker because this is a little bit of a DPS race. There is a an enrage timer. Now, first time we did this, the enrage timer was significantly shorter, but it's been uh, um, nerfed a bit, which will help quite a lot. So let's turn the camera around and have a look at what's going on in the background. Now, notice that blue circle that's appeared that the ranger stood underneath it. Now, that's an ability that the rune master, the cross in this video, is casting. Now, I'll get to uh, why I'm running away in a minute, so don't worry about that. Now, that rune of power does um, a buff on anybody who stood in it which includes Steelbreaker, the boss. If the boss is stood in that, um, he'll pretty much kill your tank. So you'll need to make sure that the tank is moving the boss very quickly. The next thing that happens during this encounter is something called a Fusion Punch. Now Steelbreaker casts this, and he'll cast this, um, and it'll hit the tank only. It increases his weapon damage by 100%, and it does 8,000 nature damage per second it's going to kill a well-geared tank really quickly. If he's stood inside um, the, uh, the Rune of Power, it'll uh, pretty much one-shot the tank. So the tank has to be real quick at pulling him away from that blue circle. Now, ideally, you'd pull him away from the blue circle just enough so that melee could still be stood inside it to, to get a buff and hit him. In our experience, don't bother doing that. You don't need to. Um, it's very risky because the, the blue circle on the ground, its range, as far as the boss is concerned, Steelbreaker, is a little bit wider than the, the graphics on the floor. Um, and we had quite a few times we, we, we tried this instance, um, and on 25-man version, where we pulled just a little bit, but unfortunately what happened was that the boss was still stood inside the blue circle and would one-shot the tank. So we decided that we would just pull the boss away from the blue circle, plenty of time, plenty of distance, um, and we'd focus on the, um, the the ranged gaining that buff rather than the melee. And it's worked fine, it doesn't doesn't really matter. Again, this is about uh, a live tank and a successful raid instance rather than uh, people's e peens on the DPS meters. Best thing you can do is turn the DPS meters off on this particular fight. Now, when Steelbreaker dies, and on normal version he's got 3 million hit points, on 25 man version he's got 10 million, when he dies, um, the other bosses, the other two, gain abilities. Now, the uh, the Rune Master, um, which has been taunted away now, so once you're, you're happy, you taunt um, the, the, the Rune Master away, and you can see it there in the background, Drazer's taken him away, and uh, is. Uh, holding him there whilst the DPS focus on the Rune Master. So we're going to do the Stormcaller last. Um, now this is the considered the easy mode, um, even though as far as I'm concerned for an average raid it's still hard. Now the extra abilities that are gained, that green patch on the ground you can see in the distance in the back right, that's called a Rune of Death. It's very large, anybody stood in it will take significant quantities of damage. Um, it's about 6k per second, um, which is a lot, right? If you're stood in it, get out of it really quickly, very, very fast indeed. If it happens at the same time um, as you've got a lightning whirl or a chain lightning, it can kill people. Um, and it's uh, something that needs to be dealt with very carefully. The second ability that the storm caller gains when Steelbreaker dies, so that's the one that I'm hitting here, um, is something called a lightning whirl. Now, this is why I'm sitting here, um, have been tasked to go and 
um, interrupt the lightning well. So I'm not bothering to interrupt chain lightning now. I'm saving my Earthshock cooldown for that. That lightning well, it does an AoE set of uh, damage. It's like a, a giant set of flying balls of lightning that hit everybody in the raid. And it needs to be interrupted. On 25 man, task 2, 3, uh, or as many as you feel like you need to, to make sure that that lightning well there is interrupted. Um, chain lightning can be interrupted by rogues or uh, warriors or anybody else who's got the ability to interrupt but make sure you set and task people to interrupt the lightning well and make sure it's done. Um, we've had a raid wiped um, when we started doing this early on in 25 man because we had a, a few people with lightning wells not interrupted because their abilities were on cooldown. Now you'll see me occasionally running away from this storm caller um, and that's something called overload. Overload does 25,000 nature damage to uh, an area. It's a 30 yard range. So you can see there that uh, a rune of death has appeared underneath us. We still need to make sure we can interrupt, so we silence him quickly and then we run away. Now, the DPS and the other team on the other side have managed to um, take down the rune master, so now we're focusing on the last guy, Stormcaller. Now the Stormcaller gains an additional ability when two of the bosses are dead. So once you've killed the Rune Master and Steelbreaker, he'll do an additional ability which is called Lightning Tendrils. Now Lightning Tendrils, he effectively takes off up into the air um, and underneath him is sort of a cone, a downward cone lightning effect which does quite a lot of damage. Um, now if your healers are good, and we've got some outstanding healers in uh, Orbis Tertius, our guild, um, they can keep a tank alive if he happens to uh, target a tank. It's untauntable, by the way, so don't even bother trying to taunt um, when he's doing the lightning tendrils. But if it's on a tank, great. Get the tank to stand still, heal the tank, and range DPS him. If he focuses on you, then run away. Do not run through everybody else in a raid. Uh, on 25 man, that's really important. Um, so you can see that he's focused on a couple of people there, chasing them around, we're trying to avoid the damage. Again, still do DPS while he's in the air if you can, please. Um, you'll find it a lot easier to take this boss down if you do. So now he's landing, he'll cast straight away, make sure an interrupt is done. Position him again happily so that you've got plenty of room in the uh, the room when he takes off again. So we like to try and pull him to the side. So Quadrophonia did a fantastic job of tanking this uh, this boss throughout the instance, um, this encounter. Carry on DPSing. Make sure people interrupt the lightning well. And then this is a rinse and repeat. There's an overload, a few seconds to get away, 30 yards, it's quite a long way, make sure you run far enough. Uh, warrior tanks are fantastic for this one because they can charge back in again and carry on straight away. Lightning well, interrupted. At this stage 20% I've blown my trinkets, max your DPS and get this boss down. Lightning tendrils again, run away. So you can see here now this is the tank standing still because it's focused on the tank. Okay, it's gone away from the tank, but during that time we were able to get a little bit of extra DPS in. Uh, Holy Priest, wonderful Holy Priest May has cast a, a bubble on me which gives me a go faster run, uh, which is fantastic for this. Lightning tendrils is finished, 6% less on the boss. Get back in, interrupt as, as you can. 2% left. Perfect kill. So here's the items. Hope you enjoyed that fight. It's great fun. Cheers. And just before I go, um, just wanted to say hi to someone, uh, Sam. Uh, thanks for the uh, nice chat and um, thanks for whispering me while I was doing the boss and uh, being polite and waiting until I'd finished and not disturbing too much. Um, good to talk to you and uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the fight as much as I did. Cheers. Bye.